Hey, right now we're in front of another Eastern U.S. native tree. This is Diospirus virginiana, the persimmon. Now the persimmon's leaves are entire, meaning that they're smooth on the edge, they're alternately arranged. Uh, this is a mid-sized tree uh, that produces a very unique and distinct fruit, which is hanging down here right in front of me. One of the most distinctive characteristics of the persimmon is its checkered bark. Uh, it's very distinct among North American species of trees. Uh, this is a tree that you'll find more in the wild than you'll find in the front uh, yard of people's homes, uh, but a great eastern native uh, that we really need to know. So 35 to 60 foot high is kind of the height of this tree, 20 to 35 foot wide. So typically you're going to find it slender, uh, more slender than it is. Uh, it's more tall than it is than it is wide. It has a tendency to sucker in different areas around the base. Uh, fall color is quite nice, yellow to red, orange, hardy from zones four through nine. Uh, now Diospirus has got a very uh, thick, dense wood. Uh, that, uh, that is used even for sporting equipment. Uh, so it's a great uh, wood to use for woodworking, especially when you, you ha need a dense wood for that application. So here is the foliage of Diospirus virginiana. Again, it is alternately arranged and you see the, the, full, the stems, um, excuse me, the petioles coming alternately off the stems. Uh, the buds are quite unique as well, kind of these little plump buds that are at the base of the petiole. Uh, here in July, you see the fruit starting to form. Uh, the cap of the fruit is quite distinct, as well as the fruit itself. This will continue to mature to an orange color. Uh, skunks love this fruit. Uh, it's one of their favorite things, possums, uh, that sort of thing. But uh, you can make uh, uh, jellies and jams out of it as well, and people can consume this. Um, it's quite astringent, though. You have to strain it quite a bit, or it has kind of the taste of sand. Uh, this fruit is, is best when it's completely ripe, and that's really at, right as it falls off the tree is when it's completely ripe. Or you need to pick it off the tree and then let it ripen from there. Here's a landscape tip. The wood is heavy, hard, and strong, often used for sporting equipment. <laughs> 